Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, I didn't, I don't know if I would have ever talked about this prior to today or not, but I've always had a really high interest in like, like the psychology behind dreams or the symbolism behind them. I think I have talked about this before, but... The one thing I'm pretty sure I haven't talked about is the idea that y you never know what you physically could be doing while you're asleep. At least, it, that is, you don't really know that kind of stuff if you haven't really approached it at all yet. Um, like, last night, well, this is kind of what triggered this. Last night, as of when this is being recorded, I... So, while sleeping, apparently... Like, I don't remember what dream I had at all, which is something completely normal. Whatever it was, it caused me to, like, sweat profusely. Um, I, just, I, I remember waking up and thinking, wait, why am I sweating? I'm, like, rubbing my head, pull my hand off, and I can see, like, droplets all over my hand. I'm thinking, huh. Because normally I don't, I do sweat, but not a lot, not like that. Kind of made me wonder, like, cause a lot of the time when I have dreams, and this is for a lot of people, it's not just me. Um, a lot of the time when I dream, I usually, unless it's something irrelevant, something that doesn't matter to reality whatsoever, I usually don't remember what I dream about, unless it's. There are rare exceptions. But, that without that, it's just, this is some stuff that just doesn't generally happen. And, with that being said, I wake up sweating and thinking, the heck did I dream about that's causing me to sweat like this? I'm, and I'm still trying to think of what in the world I dreamed about to this very moment. But it did get me thinking about the whole situation. It made me think, this is still very intriguing to me. It kind of made me think of how many physical things have a tendency to happen while somebody's asleep as well. I met people who talk in their sleep, people who move, walk in their sleep, just kind of move, toss, and turn while they're asleep. Uh, people who struggle to breathe. Um, and yeah, people who sweat a lot as if their physical bodies try to match the they believe whatever they're dreaming about kind of lines up with reality and at that point it's like no obviously it doesn't line up with reality because it's not what reality actually is but at the same time I, I guess it's just this is kind of where it intrig the whole dream aspect intrigues me outside of dream symbolism and it's the fact that your brain has a tendency, when this kind of thing happens, it's your brain believing that what's going on in the dream is happening to your real life self. It's the same concept that causes people to die when they're in their sleep. Usually in the dream, they're dying. And because the brain thinks, oh, this is the real you, it kills you in reality. Now, I've died in my sleep several times, and obviously I'm not dead IRL, so my brain isn't to that degree. But it does kind of get the point across, and it's something that always has piqued my interest. I've never had the opportunity to, like, do any kind of dream therapy or studies, which is something that, if I was ever asked to do, I would say yes, because it's something that I've always had a high, high enough interest in to be, to want to be involved in that kind of thing. But at the same time, it's just something that I've never really found the opportunity for because it's just not common to study that kind of thing. At least, not as common as studying some other stuff. And that's fine. That is totally fine. I get why. And I get it. But at the same time, it's something I wish just was more common. Because... When I, every time I wake up from a dream, I'm always thinking, well, what the heck did that mean? Like, say, I, 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 like, going back to a dream where I was, like, 
as a kid, I had a dream, and I've talked about this before, where I was laying in bed, I sit up and I see this giant wasp next to me, and I scream. After that, I wake up. I actually physically wake up. That's not part of the dream. I legitimately wake up. But the point is, I remember thinking about that, looking it up, I'm like, huh. So it means I'm overcoming something. Okay. I remember that being my initial reaction. But the more I think about the different dreams I've had in the past, the more I come to some kind of mental realization that there's just been a lot going on in my life recently to the point where it's tough to just... It's hard to just ignore. And saying it's hard is a very big understatement. I wish I could say I was over-exaggerating about that as well, but realistically, I'm not. Dream symbolism is something that I'm probably going to start talking about more frequently the further into this channel we go. Um, I think it'll be an interesting topic to fill up the vlogs for while I'm trying to think of something psychological. We also have dream therapy stuff we can talk about as well. I may even plan out, if I can, I might see if I can like schedule an appointment with a dream therapist and see if I can like do an interview with them at some point, if possible. And it'll be something difficult to do, but I think it would be a lot of... It would be intriguing to me and a lot of fun simultaneously. It, it, the weird, interesting thing for me on that front is that the more I look into the symbolism of dreams, dream therapy why things happen physically to you while you're sleeping, the more I learn about my own self, some stuff that I didn't know before, like the sweating thing. Prior to that, believe it or not, there were some aspects that I actually learned about my own personal self that I did not know before. I don't sweat very often. Now, that's not what I learned. I didn't learn that I actually can't sweat. Come on, I'm not... I'm, I'm not a character from Victorious. <laughs> if anybody gets the reference, good job. Point is, the thing I learned off of that is the more I dug into it, the more I realized there are actually a lot of other physical things that I have a tendency to apparently do while I'm asleep. For example... Apparently, I can scream in my sleep at times. It doesn't happen often, but apparently I do. I don't even know why. Or, for a secondary thing, this one I didn't know, but I snore. And apparently, this part I didn't know about it, though. I do snore, yes, that part I knew, but the part I didn't know was the fact that when I do snore, it's hit or miss on how loud the snoring can actually be. Now, there are other things about me that I already didn't know, and I'm not going to go too much into detail about this this time. But another good example is that I am a narcoleptic insomniac. I'm trying to shift that as best as I can. Now, I want to point out, I am a narcole narcoleptic insomniac, but I'm not diagnosed to be one. I just have a lot of the symptoms of it. Um, something I actually do kind of want to dig into. It's just interesting how the point, the reason I'm saying all this is the point I'm trying to make is every time I wake up and I fit, see different physical outcomes, I always find it interesting how much you can learn about yourself simply from waking up from sleeping. Which is not something I thought I'd ever say, but it is intriguing to me. How much simply waking up can teach you about yourself. How much, at least for those who are observant about their sleep patterns. It's something that's always going to pique my interest. And it's something that's going to cause a chain of events to allow us to talk about some more things in the future. Now, I'm not going to make this video too long. I've already talked for about 10 minutes about this, but 
I do want to ask you guys something. When it comes to dreams, if I start talking about like dream stuff or more psychological stuff and stuff like that, like along these lines, I may approach this differently in the future. I'm not sure yet. Um, but if this is the kind of thing you guys like, vlog-wise, that you guys like to listen about, um, I am curious, what kind of style of video would you guys like to see where I show image, or I'm gonna show like a, would you like to see like PowerPoint-esque? Um, cause I'm experimenting with these, this is why I'm asking. I want preference because of the fact that I am experimenting and I want to see which one has the most love. Would you like to see like PowerPoints while I'm talking about it? Just something like what we already do where it's just me sitting in this chair, in this chair, talking about this kind of thing. Would you like to see me, would you like to see kind of it in a, not a PowerPoint style, but like in a more like style that people like uh, BioRoxis or the theorist channels or people like that do. What video type would you guys like to see? How would you, what style of video would you guys like to see if I were to talk about this kind of stuff in the future? Because this is most likely going to happen. I, once again, I'm experimenting with all the above. I just want pers your guys' opinion that way you guys. So it's whatever I do end up doing kind of satisfies the majority. Uh, if there's no response, I'll probably just go with flow, see whichever videos get the most traction. But if I start doing, when I start doing this, because if I do that, it'll be one of the more professionally sound ones, um, meaning either the PowerPoint one or the visually appealing one that a lot of other channels do. If it ends up being that, these vlog type things won't happen very often. Most of the days where it's videos, it'll just be the Let's Plays. But we'll get to that point when we get there. Um, for right now, I'm going to leave this video here. Thanks for tuning in on this video, guys. Um, what are your thoughts on this whole uh, dreams impacting your physical being aspect? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to check out... I forgot I don't usually do this anymore. I, my brain's farting. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, why not consider subscribing to the channel? Uh, I do vlogs like this three times a week at most. Once again, videos three times a week, streams the three days beforehand, and Sundays are usually off as of right now. There might come a point where Sundays I'll actually add there, I'll add videos for as well. And I might even be wrong. Maybe this upcoming Sunday we'll have them. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to the video, guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye.